Hey, I'm John, and I'm a minister at Dawson Memorial Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama. One of my favorite parts about being a minister is being able to design and craft worship services for our community here in Birmingham. From the songs we sing, to the scripture we hear, to the liturgy that we recite, each piece is an important puzzle for worship. But perhaps the piece that ties it all together is prayer. Prayer is God's way of communicating with us, and prayer is our way of communicating with God. In worship, prayer is a way that we communicate with each other. Praying in worship, though, is different than praying by ourselves. See, when it's just us and God, we use different language than we would when we're praying in worship because we're praying on behalf of the entire community. Therefore, we want to use words and phrases and images that everyone in the room might want or need to say to God. Because of that, what we say in private is different than the way that we pray in public in worship because prayer in worship is communal. Often in worship, we spend a lot of time perfecting the sermon or the music or the images on the screen, but we rarely commit time to perfecting our prayer in worship. But when called on to pray in worship, it's important to remember that prayer is just as important as any other element in the service. As you prepare to pray in worship, don't forget to ask God to be with you as you lead. And don't be afraid to use your own voice, your own language as you create your prayer. God will be faithful to hear and answer your prayer as you voice it on behalf of your community. Here are some things you might consider the next time you're asked to pray in worship. First, think about the content of your prayer. You might meet with a minister to gather information. Ask them about the overall theme of the service and worship. Ask about the order of worship and where your prayer will fit. Ask about how long the prayer should be. This will give you a good framework for the content of your prayer. Next, find out what's going on in your community and around the world. Each time we gather for worship, we're also to look outside of the walls of our church. You might use social media or other outlets to discover things that are going on in your community and around the world. Think about the structure of your prayer. In other words, ask yourself, where is this prayer going and what is it doing? Oftentimes in worship, people just concentrate on one thing when they pray, and they rarely show a progression of thought. You may also want to be sure to use we language and us language instead of I and me language, since you're praying not for yourself, but on behalf of your community. The book of Psalms has many great prayers that begin with one idea and then seamlessly progress to another one. Like many Psalms, you might begin by praising God for all the things that are good in the world, complaining about all that's bad, and then expressing your trust in God to fix and bless all the things that you've mentioned. Finally, think about how you will deliver your prayer. Will you pray without any notes or outlines or helps? Will you read a prayer that you've written? Will you use a prayer from a prayer book in your tradition? Will you use a prayer that requires the congregation to respond with their voices at different times? No matter how you plan to pray and worship, I would strongly encourage you to write down your prayer at some point. This will help you organize your thoughts, be concise and clear, and pray for the right amount of time. Some people think that praying written prayers are not authentic, that they are not from the heart like extemporaneous prayers are. That isn't true. God is big enough to hear all of our prayers, whether they're written down or not. Once you've decided what to pray and how to pray, don't forget to call your congregation to prayer. You can do this by saying, let's pray together. Then it may sound weird, but practice praying out loud. This helps you find a voice that is natural and determines the speed of your prayer. Decide how you will end your prayer. A common phrase is, in the name of Christ Jesus we pray. Amen.